Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see how to manage the ACLs for directory. So in last session, we, we saw how, how to handle the ACLs for the files. So if you, rem if you remember last in the last session, we have created one directory called as ACLs test. So let's get the FACLs for that. I'm giving the command HDFS dfs minus get fackle and you can give the directory ACL test so if you see uh, there are few access available let me check the ls also hdfs dfs minus ls forward slash and these are the more details about that so these are the already given the faculties uh, we said that now what we'll do if you see in this we cannot see the default users or the default groups so how to set the default users in order to set that we have the command hdfs dfs set facul minus m default user root and the what axis it has read write but no execute and this is at the folder level not at the file level so let's get the faculties and see whether the default user available default user faculties available minus get facul in the directory it's not a folder uh, it's not a file it's a directory so I can see the default access also available now if you want to upload or uh, if you want to upload a copy of local file which is like ATC host which we create in la recent session we can use the command like this hdfs dfs minus put etc posts ACL tests so this will put the file let's check or verify whether it is properly put or not by using the get facul access or get facul directory ACL tests and the posts Now for the host, what are the permissions available? The default permission is still not available. It is available at the folder level only. To, even if you want to view the ACL entries for the group files. So let's see what are the faculties available for that. HDFS, DFS, minus get facul for the group folder, ACL test which we created in the last session um, group tests it is typo here now I can see it is quite similar but if you see for the host and for the group owner is hdfs group also hdfs user has read write but no executive permission group has a read permission other has a read permission but for the host we have the mask as a r and group has a read and executable so these are the permissions you can provide at the folder level now the next thing we are going to see is nothing but how to provide the access mask or before going to ask access mask we will do some couple of uh, hdfs command to cat the files okay so how to cat the file hdfs dfs minus cat to verify the access whether everything is working fine or not 
to say that we are going to use the cat camera let me go to the home somehow So we are here. Let's uh, give the cat command hdfs dfs minus cat, and the folder we are going to use is hosts. Ecoltes hosts, and let's see whether we are able to cat it or not. And we are able to cat this file. Let's switch user or what I can do let's exit it and do the same command hdfs dfs minus cat actual test we, I'm at the root level and from the root level we are going to file this cat command And we are able to do that. Let's switch do the switch user. And we are going to make one directory and that is dr1. HDFS DFS. What is command for make directory? MKDIR, which will make the directory. Actual tests and the directory name that is dir1. If you want to verify you can do the HDFS DFS it is always good practice so whenever you create any component in the shell using the command line verify those com components immediately so by that way you are able to confirm so directive one is created and the next thing is how to provide the control to this or let's before providing the control we should get the what are the controls it has? You can check that using the facul get df uh, hdfs dfs get facul and you can provide the directory one which you just created and for this directory we are able to see the user as well as the default permission. So when you just create a file it has the different permission but when you create a folder it has a different permission so these are the differences between the file and the folder access control so let me clear this content and let's go forward to see the access mask in order to set the mask we have the commands and on the same line as the set facul so hdfs dfs command is same set facul only content wise or the command wise change is at the argument level so you can give the mask here mask means the only particular users those have the appropriate access group those can access these files no random user or the user which are not for present in the any group will not have this access that is the masking mask so we provided the mask let's see the mask in order to see the mask we can do the command get fac get facul provide the file name actual tests and posts so it will give us what is the mask we have set so if you see the mask is no read no write and no executable we can see the permission for the root user is read write so those are the details now we can exit and we can try to cat it hdfs dfs minus cat and the folder actual test because we are going to cat using the root level and that is correct 
because the mask for the mask user that means your root is not involved in the any group if it is not involved that means the, it will applicable as a mask so mask has read no read no write and not executable that's the same reason i am not able to read i am not able to cat the file using the root user so it is working as per our expected um, behavior so i hope this session will help you to provide the directory level access and also help you to set the mask control thank you for watching my video and have a nice time do not forget to subscribe my channel for more update about hadoop